I was asked about how I come up with, you know, clothing inspiration. I'm glad she said that because guess what? I was already drawing. Ugh. I was drawing some clothes. Actually, specific red clothes because I don't have any red dresses in my closet. Red is a color that I just don't wear and I don't know why. I'm sure I look good in it, but why do I not have any? But that's okay, because if you don't have it, draw it, right? Or at least that's what I'm gonna assume we artists do. I really just draw what I would like to see in my closet. <laughs> I, you know, to be honest, I show a lot of skin. I love my shoulders out, belly out. I wear short shorts. I'm, it reflects in my art. <laughs> and I think that, that um, if you just draw what you're interested in, people will vibe with it. Or maybe things that you know that you wouldn't wear, but you just find so pretty. Like all of these have slits in them. I am not a slit girl. I'm not ladylike. I can't handle a slit. I will act up. So <laughs> I think one of the first rules for fashion is go with what you like. I like the asymmetrical look. I think that's so cute. I, um, I would put shorts on under, but I love a deep V, especially when it shows like the nape of your ribs. It's so cute. I like thin straps, shoulders out. I hate I hate the rounded curve at the end of that dress for the second one, but it's cute. It's not, I've, I've tried to wear stuff like that before. I can't be ladylike with it. It was a fail, crash and burn, but I appreciate those who can wear that. For the third dress, honestly, high slits are so cool. Not for me, but I adore it. I think that collars are super cute too. You're not gonna catch me in one, but I will be burning of jealousy for those who are. And I wanted to put like a little pattern, not very creative. And then the last one is like a Greek, I don't know, it reminds me of marbling, like a little Greek philosopher or something. It's so pretty. So, and for coloring, we just start with our base layer, which is a lighter version of red. I want a red dress so bad. Like the fact that I have so many colors and I'm trying to get away from patterns in real life, if I'm honest, I think, I think monotone, is where it's at. Maybe not monochromatic. What is the word for it? Monochromatic. Yes, monochromatic looks are the best. <laughs> I would like to start getting into that. But for now, all red. So pretty. And then we go in with the darker red. <gasps> Y'all, salmon. This color right here is salmon. That is not what I thought salmon would look like. I always considered it to be like a, a pink hue or maybe like a whitish pink. Not this full, it's brown almost. I, I don't, in another video, that's the one where I discovered how much I actually love this color. It's my favorite. I have not had a favorite marker in so long. And the fact that it's a skin tone actually makes my blood boil, but it's fine. <laughs> But it's fine. I want to make everything on this whole planet this color. And I wish I were joking, but I'm not. <laughs> no part of me is kidding. The other thing is I try to pay attention to the mood that I'm in when I'm making the dress or making the outfit or like the way that salmon. Oh my God, I love this color. The way it sits so pretty with this dress. Like, ah, uh, the mood, you just gotta go with it. Is it flirty and playful? Is it matronly? <laughs> I don't think it'll ever be matronly. <laughs> For example, I think the vibe from the first dress versus the second, completely different. I don't know about, I don't know what it is about that second dress. Maybe it's the gloves that come up to the chest line. I think that it's a little bit more sexy. So I wanted to do a little bit heavier shading. I don't get that vibe here. This is like cutesy picnic, but you're still trying to seduce your date, you feel me? So we're gonna do light. We're not gonna go too crazy, but we're going in with a second color. And I think shading is just to show like where the body is like flush against the dress. Or at least that's what I do. Maybe, maybe other people are like, no, not me, but that's what I'm thinking every time I shade. <laughs> Shading really is so fun. Like all we did was apply a darker red on our base shade, that's it. And look how detailed that looks. I'm actually happy with that. I might go in with like maybe a light, light gray. But other than that, I think that she's rocking, she's killing it. And I wanna add some shading to her body too because 
this works. I'm happy. <laughs> That's actually the vibe that I get too, is like the more that I like something, usually more detail I get put into it. And I am... Um, People will say like, oh, that's sus, or, you know, oh my gosh, you're showing so much skin, but like, yeah, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, she's cute. She's living her best life. And she's headless. So how do we, why is that what we're focusing on? I, oh man, out of, right now, out of these two dresses, I would wear this one. Had to have shorts on under it. There would be such a problem if there wasn't, but. But I would love to wear this. It's so cute. Ah. Oh. It's weird because I, I usually want to stop right here. Because it looks good. The real question is, do I like... Um, a little bit more shading. Do I like it better with this? Or do I like it with more darkness? I have like five shades in this one. I have like three in that one. Um, so what I did was I went in with the gray to make it a little bit darker. See? And I don't think I mind that. I think that's actually a good, good call, personally. But I think I'll stop there. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I do want somebody to be polka dotted though. I like, oh my God, and then this bow. I was thinking, cause y'all know I'm a sucker for bows. I think this would be cute up top. I'm gonna get it thinner. It would be cute either right here, smack dab like a bunny girl, cause I'm a sucker for it. It would be a big bow in the back though, gorgeous. And then I think it's like a sweetheart thing when you put the bow like right under the chest, cute. Cute, or in the back. And when I say like back, I mean like in the back. This is definitely a sidetrack. Why do I always get sidetracked with y'all? Okay. I was gonna keep drawing, I had another body. She would have been so cute too, but I don't think we're gonna have time to get to her. But just to outline, another tangent by the way, sorry. Just to outline, she would have been so cute. Oh my gosh. This is what we're looking at. Gorgeous. Oh, I would have loved her. I would have loved her. Maybe we could do that same outfit. Oh my God, I love when people match. Oh my gosh. That, oh, okay, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about the bow, so <laughs> I'm the worst. So if this is the bunny girl, you've got the bow in the front, cute. The bow in the back is the one I was talking about. This is for tails right here. Then the bow is like right there. Y'all know what I mean? Is that, is that, did I lose you? Like if this is her legs, and stuff like that. Arms, arms, hair. The bow would be right here. Like I gotta color this in real quick, you know what I mean? I love the bow being right back there. You don't see that often. And then the sweetheart one I was talking about is if the bow is right here. Oh my God, I love that one. And then it's just hanging and you see the pretty little tummy, like, come on. I feel like y'all do not, I feel like y'all aren't hype like I'm hype. So I need to make sure that y'all know. Are we about to color this then? I shouldn't, cause it's a tangent. It has nothing to do with my dress. <laughs> like what about my, my little orange dress, my little red dress, but, but where was I? I feel like if you're a bunny girl, right? You have those options. It's either front of the neck, back of the neck, sweetheart, or from behind. That is where you would place it, I feel like, has it set it says so much about your personality. I don't I don't know what specifically, but I think that it says so much about who you are as a person. <laughs> Personally, I would choose behind the back behind the neck. 
or the back. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know what I would choose. It would probably behind the neck because I'm, I'm a sucker for that. Do I want to keep this bow? Yeah, why not? Two bows. That's definitely overkill, but she's not even an OC, so we can overkill her. Hmm. Actually, do I have anything in red? I don't have hoodies. I don't, I actually might not have anything. This is the darker color. I'm not shading properly, or at least I'm not shading according to what I've always done. And that is my fault. I take full responsibility. Mm -mm -mm. I just really love the way that it could look. Now that can't be red too though, because everything else is already red. Where's my favorite color? Salmon? I, I love this color. Okay, this, this needs to be the last time I tell y'all. This is the wrong color, whoa! Whoa, this is potato brown? This is why we swatch. What the heck is potato? Potatoes are not... I wouldn't say that this is like... I wouldn't say that this is freaking potato. This doesn't look very potato to me. Does it look potato to you? See, this is what we get for, for moving past the plot, which was me trying to draw my dresses because I don't have one. But instead, we're here. That's fine, because a red outfit, red dress, who cares? I remember one year at prom. This is a core memory for whatever reason. Instead of wearing a dress, the school it girl wore pants. It was a pantsuit. Oh my God, power move. And her stomach showed a little bit. And I remember thinking, oh, you trendsetter. She was the coolest. Mm -mm -mm. Red on red. Is it a crime? Probably, but it's fine. I still like it. <laughs> like, I still like it. I should probably go back in, but I won't. This speaks to me. Okay, where was I? Where was I? I wanted to give one of the dresses polka dots, but I think that they, they don't have enough going on. Like, I think that they've got too much going on, actually. Ugh, I don't want to do this to any of them. Last one on this one. Okay, this is a dress, the last one. I have never seen somebody wear it in person, in my life. I've always seen it on Pinterest. I've seen it um, on IG models who have like that little, what is that, the hanging thing right in front of the chest area? Goes down to the middle of your stomach. Never. I've never seen somebody wear a dress like this in person. Maybe that's because I don't dress up often and I don't go anywhere fancy. That could be it. It could be me. I could be the problem. But <laughs> I still enjoy seeing it in photos, in reels. <laughs> Maybe one day. Look, of course. And then you add the white liner and everything just looks like a dream. Like... Oh my god, maybe I just love the way it looks with some white liner. Like, my goodness. The instant gratification that I get every single time. She will not appear because she's very pale, but that's okay. Gorgeous, hun. Some bling bling for you. <laughs> so we've got our best color. I'm gonna go in with the darker one. dress seems so romantic to me and I mean like the stability kind the one where like it's our anniversary I was away on a business trip but I've missed you so much I think it is so out of all these dresses this one screams I'm married I'm very much still into my husband look at us don't look away something that I find hilarious is that this color is called light orange where? Where in what universe is this even come off as orange? Now I actually like this and this is very pretty, but I've been avoiding this marker because I didn't need anything that was light orange before. 
Imagine if I actually did need that and this is the color that I got. All jokes aside, this is very pretty. I, yeah, she's pretty. I like her. Okay, we are acquiring. Okay, we've got an arsenal now. I think these are very beautiful colors. <laughs> she speaks to me. I remember so many years ago that, what was it, the, the, the meaning of colors was so big and everybody was like, red is the color of anger and passion and love and oh, it's the color of this. And I, oh, I actually believe that. I think maybe that's why all these dresses are like a wee bit scandalous. Red really is a very, I, I agree. It's a hot color. She's pretty, she catches your eye. I feel like, I don't know. You, you guys catch the vibes, right? If I made all these dresses in like yellow, it wouldn't be the same. If it was blue and cooler, I still wouldn't, I wouldn't be saying like, it's my anniversary, where's my husband? I would be saying like, oh my God, it's a great day at the park. <laughs> like to go back in, I'm thinking the lines. I don't know what this does for me, but it does do something. You may never know what. And then some white liner, which is my favorite part. Mm, so pretty. Especially when it shows up, ma'am. Ugh, y'all don't see that. <laughs> so far, I think I like the dresses. I really like it with this with this black, but I also like it with none of that, with none of it, not even the gray. Well, there's gray in this. This is the best one thus far. Though, that could use a bow too. I would put a bow, not red, of course. You know, you could also put a bow right there. I used to do that. Back when, not me getting back on the bow. <laughs> yep, I'm doing it. Back in the saddle about the bow. <laughs> Back in the day when I first started drawing bunny girls, right? I put, I would put them in the original outfits, right? That like swim suit model thing. Back when everybody wore like the, the collar up top with the cuff links, you know? Y'all know what I'm talking about, the original outfits, right? And the bow could go here, here, or it could go right here. Now at the time, I used to like that because I felt like the ribbon could hang and the girls would have fishnets on and it would, it would just, it's the contrast, I loved it. And it was so innocent, but now I feel like, I feel like that's not, it's not accepted for some reason. So I stopped doing that, but every single now and again, every now and again, I think of her. <laughs> Do I like this design? I, I don't think I could do this one though. Cause one, it's got the scrunchy design right in the seam and then it comes up into that Y position. I've seen girls wear stuff like that and I had to watch them pull at it all night and they weren't dancing, they weren't walking very fast and they were still yanking on that thing like it was trying to leave them and that was crazy. The crazy, the other crazy part is that they looked really good. So I feel like the payoff, if you can just handle that thing trying to like embarrass you on an important night, like <laughs> your dress is trying to ditch you, bro, <laughs> but it's fine. I love this part. I love this part. That is so pretty to me. And then if I remember correctly, this was like, I remember seeing like prom dresses like this, not prom, homecoming, and there were bows on the side. Not the bows, but yeah, there were bows on the side and everywhere that you could see that there would be a bow. And I remember it being in pink. Like, And if it wasn't pink, it was the champagne color with an ungodly amount of glitter. I mean, like, I remember brushing through the dresses and I touched it, glitter on me for the rest of the night. Crazy. I think, I th oh man, I like this color too. I should swatch the skin colors more and see how they layer better because let me tell you, I don't layer skin, not as well as I could. I think I do like maybe two coats and it don't, it don't even be that dramatic, but I've been doing that for digital art and I love the look. 
And if I can accomplish that in traditional art, oh, gas, straight gas. Like, <laughs> oh my God, that would be so fire. <laughs> Um, I think that's the biggest one that I usually get the suspect comments on is the digital art because I I love painting and um, shading it over and over and over. I want to achieve that look in traditional art all day. I think I'll slowly start releasing digital art in shorts because I like doing outfits, so keep an eye out. Cute now, the darker color. I don't know how to do this one. I guess it's still in the middle though, right? You know. Ooh, I might have messed this one up. That's okay. Because you can always just blend it back in. Or maybe you can. Maybe I was delusional about that part. Another thing that I've realized that some of my favorite artists do, they do subtle shading. I don't, and I would like to get into that. Like, they instead of doing like two shades darker than the shade that they originally did, they'll just go back in with like a light version of a darker color. So if red, they would do light purple as a shade. And I'm like, what? I have the urge to like have some kind of ribbon. The, the ribbons go on the sides. I remember, no, not me. That is not happening. I also have the urge to put that ribbon like right there. I don't, I don't know. We'll do it for this girl. We'll do it for this girl. Cause they can be, they can be like sisters about it. There is one question that I don't understand. Cause I get asked this a lot. Is that um, y'all will ask me like, oh, show us how you color. I know y'all see me out here scribbling and scrabbling. I don't even have a technique. Actually, my stuff is streaky and I'm happy about it. So I, <laughs> I can't imagine what you actually mean. <laughs> I like to think that I color like a little kid who's just doing her best to stay in the lines and she's not doing very good. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing, but <laughs> I get that question a lot and they'll be like, oh, where's your video about how you color? And I'm like, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Just, just don't try. <laughs> that can't be the answer either. And then I think the last reason I won't specifically tell y'all like how to color or like what to do like I do it is because I don't know if you've noticed, I am so wishy-washy. One minute I like what I'm doing, the next minute I'm like, is this ugly? And then um, I because there's no technique, it's hard to like redo what I've done or a lot of times I'll do something nice and I won't remember how I did it. And it's like, dang, if I even try to tell you, it's probably the wrong information. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> they really knew what they were doing with this color. It's so, ooh. That is a color right there. Like, if this color isn't taking your breath away, then I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I wasn't drawing her legs. See, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get ahead now. See, this is why I tend to not do this without, without some type of, Love it. Oh, I think I put it too low. I mean, she can, she can have a shorter torso. That's fun. She does not need that girl's torso. I just realized they were supposed to be twinning. I did not do her, her, what is it, what is it called? Give me the words. Her sleeves, ah, oh, there's no long sleeves. But it's fine, the long sleeves look, it's not for everybody. It's definitely not for me. I don't like too much fabric. Yeah, I like it. Maybe, what did I say we were gonna try? We were gonna try to do 
Uh, oh no, it looks like a cape. There's a cape on the back of her. That's why we didn't do it. The other thing is that like, when I said that the dress was down here, I remember that. I do remember that, that's crazy. We were right, that's not it. And I wish I didn't put any of those three because she was rocking it. But since we're ruining this dress, <laughs> I just want to sate my curiosity about the polka dots. I just, I just have to know are polka dots too much or was I was I onto something with this this polka dot rush because I felt like this color and polka dots uh uh not you dying. Was I on to something? The answer better be yes. Cause I felt in my spirit that I was on to something. something. And these aren't the best polka dots, I know that, but if one thing about me is I'm not gonna take my time for some polka dots on a dress that we already established that I have ruined. Cause that that is giving middle school and that's giving little red redheading head and I'm very upset with that. Because the body was given. The the scrunch that I will never wear was given. I can't, there's always somebody. And never fail, somebody out there has opposite taste as me. So every time I'm like, ew, they're like, I thought it was pretty. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> or I'll be like, nobody wants to see that. And you're like, I was happy to see it. And I'm like, crap, <laughs> sorry. I cut it short for you, I'm sorry. Would have been cute. It doesn't even need all the skin showing. That would've been cute. That's an idea. That's an idea, y'all. I like that. I do. I like that. But she also needs... Please look at me shade this skin. Because I think it is an instant transformation. She looks more alive by the time I'm done with this. I am so enamored. I don't know who did this to me. I don't know what I was looking at to make me go, oh... I should shade it more, the skin. But I'm so grateful because I think that looks beautiful. 10 out of 10. I was I was happy with it before. I'm crazy about her now. I'm drooling at the mouth. I'm foaming. Real quick on, on her because I don't want to mess up somebody else's dress. I don't know where I'm getting like oddly possessive of these outfits. I'm not going to wear them. I'm so silly. I have, I don't own them. How am I supposed to wear them? We're gonna take that bow out because that was crazy. Actually, no bunny girl here. I'm just gonna make it a dress, a flowy dress. It has four straps. Cute. I have a bad habit of just putting a line in the middle. And then there goes my gel pen. Are you kidding me? Oh. Yeah, there we go. I'll put like a line in between those. That's a pitiful line, but y'all know that I mean. <sighs> so cute. Was that all of my, all of my things? I, thank you for coming along with me. I had such a good time. I, ooh, one more time, just let me say it. This is a good combination. This color looks good on every color. If actually, I think I need more red dresses in my life, but it's fine for now. I'll just see you next time. Bye.